Today I just want to kind of take a basic look at the, uh, the sound of the tuning. Uh, so that should sound very familiar to you, uh, that play C6 guitars. With just a couple of exceptions. Um, so uh, on the Steel Guitar Forum I have posted a couple of uh, charts that really help you see this. Uh, have them here in front of me right now. I have one chart where I just look at my entire copita uh, in regards to, to the C position. Which if I pull my left knee left over, it takes both of my, what would be my F notes at the first fret, and it pulls them back down to an E, a half step. That way I've got the third uh, of the C position uh, always in place. People ask me all the time, well, do you get tired of holding that knee over uh, when you're kind of in your, uh, your C6 kind of mode? Uh, my, my, answer, my quick answer to that is you really don't because you're working in and out of it uh, usually uh, a good bit. Uh, in, in, in because when you go into the four position, into the F, uh, then obviously you, you most of the time let off with that. So uh, it's got a good balance to it. Uh, there, as far as uh, the open tunings is concerned, and I'll play it up here to the 13th fret just because it uh, gives you a little bit more sound on the video here uh, of the notes. So let's first look at Buddy Emmons. He actually uh, puts a D note on top of his tuning, so uh, Buddy's uh, tuning would sound like this from C. He inverts the spot, those top two notes, the D and the E. Uh, Jimmy Day does not use the D. Uh, he actually opts for a, an E and G at the top. So uh, the D note that I have on my fourth string uh, is omitted, omitted in uh, Jimmy's setup. And I think that's probably the more common uh, of the tunings uh, that I've seen in open C. because everything is, is sort of vertical. Uh, as far as the, the back to the Emmons setup, we've got... So you can see, uh, without any uh, transitions whatsoever, uh, just engaging my left knee left, that I've got the, uh, the C6. Uh, As we continue on, uh, we're going to, to, to talk about where you find all kinds of different voicings with regard to the C6 setup. And uh, it should be pretty, uh, pretty easy and come to life for you as you follow me along uh, as I will go through each pedal uh, and each note on, on the, uh, the C6 guitar 
and there's just uh, maybe one or two exceptions uh, that I do just a little something different uh, but but for the most part uh, I have pretty much ratified that uh, just about every voicing is going to be there for you uh, in regards to the C6 and transitioning over to a 12 string uh, similar to this.